Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark Christmas in July movies. Oh, oh, oh. hey, hey oh. Bran, guess what? What? I'm Panda, and I like Hallmark Christmas in July oh. movies. We started a border on, like, Sebastian from Little Mermaid there briefly. I pulled it back. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Dan. Ooh. Ooh. And guess what, guys? What? I despise those Hallmark Christmas in July movies. Oh. This is it's a Hallmark Podcast. podcast. <laughs> Wow, oh boy. man! It feels uh, it feels like we're doing a new thing. Can I say that? Yo, I know who's that. Doing it? I know that God's doing anything. Yo, who's doing it? And I know that we're doing it. Yo, who's doing it? Who's doing it? New thing. God is doing a new, new thing. thing. You know who's doing it? Yo, who's doing it? God is doing a new, new thing. Um, hi everybody. I hope you're doing well today. So on well. This. It feels a little bit like a holiday because it's. A new Christmas movie. Oh my and goodness! It doesn't really matter when it is, and I I'm not the guy that likes these movies. But when you sit down to watch a new Christmas movie, yeah. it, it hits it. It, it hits feels different, as the it kids does. say. Yes, it this does. hits different. It feels like the holidays. This movie has a has to has a dog in it. Yeah, a lot of movies have dogs in it. Uh, what's another thing that kids say? Army. Um, what? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Are kids say just run around army. saying army? <laughs> That's no cap. No nah, cap. No cap. Army. No yeah. cap. Uh, this movie is army cap, in fact, everybody. <laughs> oh, there's um, so much cap in now, this Now, I will say this, guys. Uh, we have a good track record of Christmas in July. Last year, crashing through the snow. Oh, yeah. boy, yeah. A couple years before that, mm-hmm. Christmas camp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on down to Christmas camp. Your boy, Brandy, is hanging out there. Do doing remember, crafts and doing things. Do you remember? When, when we did the Christmas camp review in your basement, mm-hmm. and he specifically said it was the best movie he'd yes, seen all I year do. of any kind. Yep, I do. And we immediately were like, it's just because it's a new Christmas right, movie. Right, exactly. Because that movie was bad, but bad, bad. Oh, it's a disaster. Yeah, uh, okay. It was so, I don't know if I'm allowed to, I, I'll, I'll refrain. I know some insider information about it. I'm pretty sure somebody <laughs> no, who I was actually, very close to the movie said that, that was largely. That person told me the same thing a okay. few weeks ago. Yeah. I, I got caught. Yeah, I got caught in a conversation I couldn't get out of. Yep. Yep. And I doing got that. things and seeing yeah. stuff. Yeah. Doing things on the Christmas camp. Here's a craft and here's a cane. It's candy and you lick it. Yeah. Don't Anything, do it. It was sticky. Anytime I do a song about candy cane, it you feels get weird. Into the ochres real fast. Well, because what, yeah. what, what can you sing about candy canes that you can't also sing about other things that are not uh, as inappropriate as candy canes? I think you've made this far worse than it needed to be. But Dang it, not again. <laughs> you just, jeez, you just have to write the ship. Just, I'm all grown up now. Do you like that Amy Grant song? No, he hates it. I hate it too. I didn't know you hated it. I load that song. It's no, awful. No, I, the no, Amy no, Grant is no. the better version of it. I didn't know there's another version. There, what versions I, have you heard? Yeah, there's another. Amy, Amy Grant is the Grant. one that's on the radio Grant. every Is year. that the one that's on the radio? Yeah. yeah. God, no, I hate it. Though. And I love. <laughs> you and tried I, to give Amy. I, just, I was trying to give Amy Grant the benefit of the doubt. I love Amy, Amy Grant, Grant, but but no, that song's awful. It's real bad. So bad. Well, let's see if the movie lives up to the song. Could it? Or surpass the song? Or surpass the song? Is it possible? Let's find out. My Grown Up Christmas Wish originally aired on July 9th, 2021. No, and it, it didn't. 2022. 2022. There it is. It's, we're only a few months late, guys. I think you have until <laughs> August oh, to yeah. get the year we're, right. We're, you got another month. You're working In on. my defense, um, I have no defense. None. Uh, and it went a little something like this. The movie kicks off with a song. You guessed it. My growing up Christmas list. Uh, A girl gets off a bus with a suitcase. Her name is Kayla. And uh, she ends up talking to a young skinny Santa, as she calls him, (laughs) who uh, asks her for her name. So he is into her. Para Noel, para no her, para yes sir. We're all working. That's not bad. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice. The thing you've ever said to me. That's uh, nice. Of it. Ever Give said me this me. one thing. Uh, he tells her that he's never seen her around here before, and she says, 
It's my first Christmas back in a few years. And but he, I have lived here my whole life. But I have lived here my whole life. And he lectures her on Christmas. <laughs> Spoiler, <laughs> it's not the real Santa, despite driving a lifted red pickup truck, as Santa does in his off time. His real name is Luke. He's in the military, but he is home for Christmas, cosplaying as Santa, because you gotta. Apparently, it's Christmas Eve, and Kayla eats some Chinese food with her grandpa, and after he falls asleep, you know, just from a food coma or something, I don't know, uh, she goes on a very, very cold walk because she's missing her mom. And what do you know, but Luke sees her sitting on a bench all by herself. So he sits next to her and they talk about coming home and whatnot. Oh, this is good. And uh, she tells him that her mom passed away two years ago today. So downer but he leaves her uh with a with a with an ado and we fast forward one year he leaves her within a do yep. <laughs> yeah panda gets it okay. i do i do i do with an ado i got you it's a, I thought you said within a do no with an ado it with an ado hi my name's anna <laughs> anna Adu. Adu. nice to meet you it's very good to meet Hello. you i'm constantly leaving you with good tidings <laughs> 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 uh, so, Fun. um, funny fast forward one year, and she is almost front page ready for Whoa. the jer- almost front page ready for the publication she's really that she's doing was things and stuff. You think she'll write a poem? Maybe. And she heads back to her house, home, her hometown for Christmas. She's working at her grandpa's store, and guess who walks in? It's Luke, and he prompts, promptly asks her out on a date. He uh, takes her to an empty field, as you do, <laughs> and teaches her to listen to nothing but the wind to calm herself down. Something like that. Some like, I don't know, voodoo. Uh, when he gets back, uh, when they get back into town, to help decorate for the veterans uh, is it a veterans ball is it a ball is veterans it a gala a banquet banquet yeah. for the veterans banquet would you rather a banquet a ball or a gala gala just give me a banquet i know i'm getting a lot of food at a banquet, banquet. ball and gala foods banquet probably. you could go lower key yeah yeah but gala you you might walk away with some prizes no very seldom very seldom. In the galas that I've attended. The Veterans Banquet is what we're talking about here. And uh, she tags along. They decorate trees and stuff. His uh, dad hands him a letter from Army. And uh, that's never a good sign when you're falling in love. Uh, they plug in a tree and she holds his hand. And he's like, uh-oh, uh, I got to take you to a snowy bridge now and kill you. Nope. nope. Not going to kill her. Uh, but he is going to tell her the bad news about you know the Army letter. And that he's heading to um, what he calls Eastern Europe. You know the place. <laughs> and that it's going to be pretty remote, so he won't be able to stay in touch very much. I'll be gone a year, he says. Mm. She's, but she says, listen, I like you, so let's give this thing a shot. And they kiss. I will wait. I will wait. For, for you. you. They kiss what I would say is quite possibly the longest kiss in the history of Hallmark. Yeah. I don't have the stats to no. back that up. It's just a feeling. Um, we get a montage of a year where they actually do end up staying in contact quite a lot, actually. It's pretty easy, uh, except sometimes the connection breaks up. What when can you do? Or two. Uh, she finds out that she's that's getting a promotion, part. and that's exciting. Part. She is going to be editor now. So, good. She just wishes that Luke was there to celebrate with her. He's getting ready to head home for the holidays, as you do in Army. But all the flights are grounded due to big storm. And Army says, sorry, I missed your chance. So, he gets uh, gets his buddy to Skype in on a projector. And he proposes... Uh, wow. And her grandpa hands her a snowflake ring, and she says yes. The connection then goes out. Uh-oh. So they go into the snow wearing very large white pants, and they reset the tree router, I guess? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, he gets back up. The stream resets, and he says, let's plan a wedding. 
another year passes or so I'm told. Uh, she's planning the wedding all by herself, just wishing that he could be here to, there to help. Uh, luckily, he gets home early, as armies do, uh, but then he gets called away. Uh, curses. Mm. Uh, they slow dance to, you guessed it, grown up Christmas list. And he leaves, possibly because they slow dance to the saddest Christmas <laughs> song of all time. Uh, she gets tired of waiting, and so she goes out to Eastern Europe to hang with Army. <laughs> um, and Army loves it. Uh, she's just kind of like hanging out in her bed, you know, reading, you know, a magazine or two, waiting for him to get back from his rescue mission in the woods of Eastern Europe. He gets back and is like, wow, you're here. You want to get married? Let's go back home. <laughs> okay. So they go back home to get married and we get, uh, you guessed it, growing up Christmas list for the third time. They kiss, we cheer. And that, my friends, was my, my grown up Christmas, Christmas list. We did it. Wow. Boy. Mm. Did you have grown up Christmas list at three? Or under. When you went into this movie, did you think you were going to get it three I times? Be honest, I I did not actually make the connection to the song when I saw the title. Um. Wow. I didn't. I had. It, I, I wonder what this Jingle Bells movie is going to sound yeah, like. Those are the same. Jingle Bells. My growing up Christmas list is yeah, not a, Jingle Bells. Yeah, but it's, it's not pretty Jingle specific. Bells. It's an obscure title that has only yeah, contributed to I, a song. I guess I had put put Fine. the song out of my mind. So if there was a movie years. called All I Want for Christmas Is You. Yeah, I know this. Yeah, once again, these are songs that have been out for decades. How about I want a hippopotamus? My growing up Christmas list has been out almost the same time as uh, All I Want for Christmas. It's the same. It is not. Okay, let's do a. uh, It's not not near that level. Um, Let's do. uh, What's a a good one? Can I just tell you I should have put it together and we can move on? No, I just want to. What's an equivalent? The, f- um, the fact that you're thinking about it proves my point. No, I can't because it's such a high high art song to me that it's like everyone should know. This, so I'm trying to think of at your level, like at your Christmas knowledge. Christmas canon. If someone named a movie The Christmas Cannon, I would be excited for a very festive pirate movie. <laughs> uh, let's take a quick break and we'll be right back there here she on. There goes and deck the holes. <laughs> here on Deck the Hallmark. Before you book any brunch, you just pour over the list and list of brunch reviews, don't you, boys? That's always. So you guys know how you're always going to brunch and yeah. stuff? Yeah. So can I ask you this question? Please do. Why don't you do the same when do- booking a doctor's appointment? That's a great question, Brian. <laughs> Is it because it's been hard this yeah. whole time? So I feel hard. like there's so many hurdles. Yeah. Like getting there in person. And who do I even call? And why do they have me on hold again? Shouldn't my foot fungus be the same as brunch? With ZocDoc, you can see real verified patient reviews to help find the right doctor in your network and in your neighborhood. After all, finding the right doctor is just as, if not more important than finding the right plate of eggs Benedict. It is 100% <laughs> more important than finding the right plate of eggs Benedict. I like ZocDoc. I have downloaded the app. It shows me the doctors that are the best reviewed for what what I need, whether it's a dentist. And it- a, 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 a real doctor or others? Yes, what were you going to say? I was going to say, look, if you don't believe us, it costs you nothing to download the app. So no, it's a nothing situation. You download the app, and I guarantee you, you're going to love the ZocDoc. So this is all I ask you to do. Otherwise. Dentist or otherwise, or real doctor. Hot all dogs. all you have to do is do this. Okay, everyone do it. Just right we've, now. We've talked about it all year. At this point, just do it. ZocDoc.com slash Hallmark. Download the app for free. Then start your search for top rated doctors or dentists today. Many are going to be available within 24 hours. Just go to Z O C D O C dot com slash Hallmark. That is ZocDoc.com slash Hallmark. Just ZocDoc, baby. <laughs> it's been a day. We're back, everybody. Welcome yes. to my growing up Christmas list. Um, let's break this movie down. Christmas in July. Kevin McGeary, uh, his the girl that he's, he's in love with in real life. Fiona. Is that her name? No. no. Her name is also Kayla in real life. Is it really? Yes. Great. Um, but I thought this girl's name is Taylor. Might be. 
I might have gone on IMDb. Taylor Nichols. Taylor Nichols. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. I wrote down her real name based off of the IMDb. It was a real name fake. That's on me, everybody. That's on me. Thank you. I know everybody at home was calling me out. Just delete the emails. Dear Brandon, dear Mr. Brand. (laughs) I I had the name you said, and I wanted you to know. Incorrect. Whatever that is. We're booking them for Christmas candy. Yeah, they for sure. Dude, they will right be so in. great in Christmas candy. They're the Next kidnapped time, kid. All, yeah, all British cast for yeah. Christmas candy. Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah, for sure. You are going to bite the hand that feeds you. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's break this movie down. Let's start with a hot take. Panda, what do you think? People of- are watching, Panda. Yes, I know. Don't oh. screw this up, man. Don't offend anybody, okay? I know. People are watching. My grown-up Christmas to, list. I would hate the game sort of pushed back. That's right. Uh, we just, so just above board, even if okay. you hate it, say nice things. I, I will. Uh, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> uh, nice, huh? Uh, all right. So here's the deal. Here's what I will say about this movie. Um, it is aesthetically very beautiful. Uh, there's an aesthetic here. Um, I did not hate this movie. That is a true story. I did not hate this movie. There was a lot of things in this movie that uh, call into question narrative continuity. Yeah, you, um, you think? There are some questionable choices uh, yeah. that sometimes take the watcher out of the film. Yeah. Uh, but if you could set aside some of those inconsistencies. Uh, well, how? That's the whole film. That's 82 minutes. If you could set aside some of those inconsistencies, uh, is there is some fun to be had with this movie, provided that you don't think too much about it. So all I want to say is, uh, not a hate. Uh, I did not actively hate this movie. I would watch it again. It made me smile at certain points. Uh, this is there absurd. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Up Get up top. there. <laughs> So, I want to tell you a story. Here's the Um, story. If you put a new movie out in July and call it a Christmas movie, Brand's going to love it. It doesn't matter if it literally is just a box of turds. I'll start with what I didn't like. Tonally, it shifts. Now to (laughs) what I did like. tectonic plates over here. Now to what I did like. Everything else. The Christmas vibe, can I say that? There are a lot of really good Christmas vibes in this movie. Looking all around, giving me all the Christmas feels. Um, I don't like the song, going back to what I don't yes. like. Don't like the song. Bum that I had to hear it um, three times in the course of an hour and a half. I did like every all the other things. Uh, I didn't like um, how th- of, like offended I am for the army. I'm not in it, but I'm offended for the army. But I did like everything else. The the I I, I just I had a good time. I guess I should say I had a good time. I know that this is not to be. To be clear, I know that this is not at the level of, you know, almost all of the Christmas <laughs> movies last year. Thank you. That's all. Awesome. But it's July, and I loved it. So yeah. sorry. Can we just be not clear? Sorry. If this was in last year's crop of movies, we're fighting over who's putting this in their bottom five for the bonus episode. Oh, no. It's not in my bottom five. Here's why it's not in my bottom five. Well, here's why. (laughs) I would put this in the same category as... The movie about the Christmas light decoration. It was bon- remember where yeah, they were yeah, competing. Yeah, they're, they're competing. It was bonkers new new. It was really. It was not. I, I have been around there, but it was just still. Yeah, near that the was bottom. definitely in my bottom ten. Bottom ten. Yeah. So I probably would be in my bottom ten. But here's the thing. Bottom I, ten, yes. Bottom five, no. Okay. Yeah, so I would also say. I really like the leads in this. Like uh-huh. I know that they're married together. I I did not mind, but I also like the butterfly movie. Weren't they combined in the butterfly yeah, yeah, yeah. movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, maybe I'm just a maybe I'm just a stand for Taylor and it's uh, Kevla, Ke- uh, Kevin and Kayla. Kevla, yeah. that's yeah. what they call them. Yeah, yeah. That's their shipped name. Apparently, yeah. I learned that today from Sheila Calloway. Oh yeah, she Sheila. learned things every day. Hey, 
Um, yeah, I'm offended on behalf of the Army for sure. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, we we have a lot of fun here at Deck the Hallmark, <laughs> but we, we don't joke about the troops. We're going to make a lot of jokes about whatever this was, um, but this was not the troops in any form or fashion uh, across the board. None of this was actual Army. Uh, and I say that on good authority of someone who is living, breathing, and has two eyes. Um, uh <laughs> I'm offended on behalf of the people that probably thought up this idea because in my head, what at thinking about this movie, because I watched it this morning, someone probably went, wouldn't it be cool if these people meet, but the timing just isn't right. And there's been other movies made like this. And it's like a series of smaller short films where they get to spend time together and then they have to go apart and they spend time together and have to go apart, but then we'll hallmark it up and make it in happily. Yeah, so, I like that. So in their heads... This movie makes a lot of sense. Like, love at the Christmas table, where yeah. every year they end up seeing each other at, at Christmas time. Oh, and what a great movie. 20 some, it's one of the best Christmas movies for TV, made for TV ever made. Yes. One of the best ones. And so there was this inkling in here of somebody who's like, I have this idea. And then I can imagine that person having to watch what actually was on screen and going, what is that? Because... It's an absolute mess. I don't know if it was budget. I don't know if it was because everyone was freezing their tails off. I don't know what it was, but time was not spent to make this look cohesive or like an actual film that stands together in 83 minutes. It's a series of wait what's that are constantly topping the other one in a series of how did this movie get made poker. That is what this is. It is bad, but bad, bad, bad dumpster fire territory. And to say otherwise means it must be Christmas and july this movie's bad and you know what i also like the two leads i think uh uh, kevin and kayla kevla as i was taught today are both wonderful can we get them i here's what i think because this movie was acquired and the butterflies it's a a johnson movie yeah these are both johnsons i think what happened was they fell in love and got did they get married or they just start together and they wanted to make movies together and so they didn't wait for hallmark to pair them together they just decided to go and find somebody to make movies for them and so i'm glad they got to work together and spend time together but aside from that ye yeah, no 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 absolutely not this is a real head spinner guys i had to i culled through my weight what's and got it down to 22 I'm serious, and I won't say them all. But did you? I had thirty. I had thirty. Wait, what? Uh, like legitimate gaping plot holes in this film that don't make any sense at all. Did you? Um, did you like the Christmas though? I mean, it. You could tell it was cold because mm-hmm. everyone looks like they're freezing, and the the real snow is always a treat. Yes. So. I'm not upset about that. It sounds to me like Dan liked the movie. So that's what yeah, I'm I think hearing. That's the take away. Dan <laughs> liked the movie. And if you're involved with this movie and want to review our review, then yes, you can put that down. Sure. Dan likes the movie. Real, real snow, real lights. Call it a day. There it is. Uh, let's go to the, all the feels. Yeah, I actually like the scene where I, I will say it's a little. A little fast to do this in a relationship, uh, but where we're he drives around now, huh? to the middle of um, nowhere, yeah, uh, and he turns After off the car. They've maybe spent two hours together in their life. Yes, uh, <laughs> and he turns off the car. Now, if I'm trying to project how I would feel as as a woman who is meeting a man and for only two hours, and this is occurring, and I think I would be frightened. But if we could set aside the fear. This is a very beautiful scene, and I, too, love to listen to the snow falling on the ground. Uh, th- there's just something really beautiful. There's nothing and, better than just uh, sitting and, like, enjoying the snow. Oh, falls. my gosh. I agree. And uh, so that was my feel for this. Uh, I met my goal for, like, elderhood. Uh, the grandpa in this movie the is way to say that. <laughs> everything that I want to be. The guy with the mustache. Now, I, yes. Uh, now, grandpa. I yes. see him. He's got a fantastic Christmas flannel on. He's got a car, like a really cozy Christmas cardi on. Um, and he's got a fantastic gray mustache. And I'm like, you know what? I want to be that guy. But then Dan pulls up his INDB po- photo. And it's not just the stash. <laughs> it's a full beard. And he's everything I Dude, aspire to be. You got to see this guy guys Panda. go do yourself a favor go to the indb of my, my what's his name he's old <laughs> what's his name what's his name his name is james m jenkinson 
I mean, even the name. Big Boss Man Jenkins. James M. M. Jenkinson. Google him. Love him. Fantastic. He's everything that I want to be. He is a Paul David Tripp knockoff. 100%. Description. Holy cow. Yes. And and what's crazy is, is for years I've been like, man, if I can one day be half as cool as Paul David Tripp, like not a lie, not a lie. Something happened when Paul, when Paul turned, I don't know. Oh, he turned cool. 60, 60. where he was like, I'm going to start buttoning in my top button, <laughs> losing the, the the suit jacket, and just being awesome. And uh, I it. feel like, oh, that's my goal in life. I'm is, trying to get there except a lot earlier. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, you're, it's <laughs> well, already passed already for you. Yeah, you've been probably too late. Just getting, but gosh, just getting late I, uh, <laughs> I, I loved him so much. Dan? Uh, yeah, my feels was I wanted to fight Kevin McGarry's dad, who said that... Uh, the Douglas fir smells better than a Fraser fir tree. He's like, sure, Fraser fir has more room for ornaments, but the Douglas fir smells better. I, that's fundamentally false, right? I, like, don't, I don't know. Uh, I have. No I know clue. people really I thought lo- about what you would say, and I said Dan would know the answer to that. I can't. Um, like I have had in my house Douglas fir, Fraser fir, noble fir, Scotch pine. And the Fraser fur is the best. It smells like Christmas for crying out loud. I, Maybe for you. How? How? Are we, what are we doing here, gang? I don't Maybe know. Maybe this is one of those situations where if you were only grow, grew up on the Douglas fur, yeah, it's a, it's just a who's it, what's it. But aside from that, my only feel was like I, I was sad for the armed services <laughs> in general. Yeah, they didn't yeah. even try. It was not even trying. It, it was. was just, it was not. But they to film the scenes in Eastern Europe, they probably went to the back forty of wherever they were currently filming the scenes in the town. Yeah. yeah. Possibly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's Eastern Europe for you. That is Eastern Europe for you. Let's take a quick break and uh we'll come back and we'll see what we can do with the way what. See if we can um, you know, find some in the uh, it's gonna be tough out there. Andy, you know how we were talking about how uh, we like to relax by listening to the snowfall and a nice winter's nights, maybe put on a fire? I sure do, mm-hmm. Brian. It's, it's, it's the perfect way to just take a break, to take a breather. And that's what I also love doing with the Calm app. Oh, mm-hmm. me too. I'm a big fan of the Calm app. Me too. Yeah. I love the sleep stories. I love the step-by-step meditation. Mm-hmm. Uh, they do a lot right over on the Calm app. Yeah. And uh, I've used it uh, many a times, especially over the past few years, uh, to do exactly what the name says, which is to, to get a little calm in my life. Uh, if you can't get around some snow falling, the, the second best thing to that is absolutely calm. Yep. Absolutely yes. the Calm app. It is the number one mental wellness app to give you the tools to improve the way that you feel by reducing stress and anxiety through guided meditations and all sorts of different things. And if you go to calm.com slash deck, you're going to get a special offer of 40% off Calm premium subscriptions that is com.com slash deck to get 40 percent off com premium that is calm.com slash deck for 40 percent off calm <laughs> hi everybody we're back oh, we're talking yeah. about my grown-up christmas oh, no. Christmas list. Let's get to the wait what part of the show. It is where we talk about what in this movie made us go wait what. Panda, <laughs> what'd you get? You had a different viewing experience than Dan and I. Dan and I were in the same room. You were watching yep, it by your lonesome. There was a couple things I rewound for Brian because he didn't believe it when I said it out loud. He was like, rewind that. Well, that's, that's fair. But uh, <laughs> I, I, will, I will say overall, uh, would not, I, I don't know if I can use the airtight moniker here. Uh, no. But no, it's no, 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 uh, no. There, there's a few things where a little air bubbles are getting yeah. in from time to time. air bubbles. Uh, first of all, I just want to point out, he, their relationship's just kind of weird uh, in general. And, yes. and it has nothing to do with the Army. It has everything to do with the fact that they meet each other. They spend a grand total of a few hours together and they just decide they go meant for all each in. Other. Yeah. They go all in. Um, which again, not judging. It's just weird. He comes across as incredibly creepy the very first time they meet. He's just asking her question after question. He's accosting her as Santa Claus. Yes, as Santa. And it is uh is 
uncomfortable. It, that's the best way of describing that opening scene. Um, what becomes more uncomfortable is the fact that you realize that they somehow don't know each other, despite the fact that she's lived in this town her entire life, and they literally have all interacted with. Yeah, her. it doesn't make any it sense. Does, that doesn't no, make that any sense. That is the one where it's like, how have they not met before? How have they not met? Uh, she and hasn't this, been back in two years, but she grew up there. Yeah, and they went to those stores, and he, she goes, "Oh, I just never realized that was your dad." Maybe, but it, it just seems beyond plausibility. The other thing she accuses his name of is not being Christmassy enough. His name is Luke. Um, yeah, I don't know if you know this, but in the book of the Luke in the Gospel Bible, yeah, of Luke had that retells one. the story of Christmas. Yeah. Instead, they make a really veiled it's an alien like, joke. They make a th- no. You didn't get that joke. That's a Star Wars joke. They made a Star Wars joke. <laughs> Well, it failed on both. I know. It was it, that's the thing. Sorry, is, it was so stupid. I had to we had to talk through it. We no, had to talk I through had it. To talk through it with Brandon to go. What are they? What is this joke? I was like, Oh, it's Star Wars. What's, did you, did you write it down? Do you I still did, have it? No, I deleted okay. it because I was trying to get it down to yeah. manageable over here. I, I it's just. I. It, How that, bad is that? That's terrible. Um, <laughs> She says he's a Charles Dickens fan by simply stating the least amount of information somebody could probably say about Bob Cratchit. To uh, great expectations. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just not sure um, if being the go-to voice for the Christmas section of an online publication, which I'm still not sure about what this online publication is. That's another thing. It's Vox thing. World, it's, Panda. Uh, sure. Um, it's Vox World. I just, I don't know. And then the the last thing I have, I have a bunch. I mean, it's just, um, it's Veterans Christmas Dinner. <laughs> okay, but the way, it, the, the punctuation, I'm not a grammar <laughs> Nazi over here, but the way they have it set up is veteran singular with a apostrophe. It's a veterans, like it's Do they his, put an apostrophe S? Yes. Oh, dear gracious. Veterans Christmas dinner. If so I'm it's not mistaken, the, there's one veteran who's in charge, charge of, of the Christmas the dinner. dinner. But that's yeah, not it, what it, it is. It's his dad. It's his dad's dinner. Okay. Everyone else is invited. He, he's, his dad he's is cooking. the veteran. Is that what the way that they're? That's I don't think that's what they're going for. Because no. that is that's bad. Like I mean, I'm not a grammar boy, but even I sat there. and I was like, I don't think that's what they're trying to communicate. Uh, What's but, great is like I'm also clearly not a grammar boy, but I did see that and go, I don't. Like it's right. I don't feel like this. I'm sitting next to Dan. I don't want to say. Anything. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I just, I, I didn't even touch the army stuff. I mean, that's just. Oh, listen, that was just the civilian stuff. We'll get there. We'll All get right, there. I, don't I'll, worry. I'll stop right now. Um, I, I don't know uh, why you do Santa if you're not going to commit to the bits and just make yourself fat. Yeah. Just use a pillow. It's the literally like the least you can do to this if you're gonna if you're gonna stand out there. And also, it would keep you warm. I'm just trying to help a brother out. If you're gonna go outside and it's cold, just get a pillow. Yeah. You're good to go. You're good to go. Um, she's talking to him about how she lost her mom. And she says, Christmas has been tough ever since then. It's been two years. <laughs> Hasn't ever, been two Christmases Ever yet. since then. Ever, ever since then. Yeah, you know, like last last year, the the one was tough. Um, we see the, the, the amazing front page worthy stuff that she's turned into her boss. And it is a paragraph and a half. It is less than half a page, but it's the good stuff. Um, she does quote, uh, he quotes Dickens, as you mentioned, Panda. <laughs> and she responds with, you've been reading my articles, haven't you? <laughs> I don't know. Come on. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, that's the only place you'd read Dickens. Yep. <laughs> He's not that big a deal. I appreciate <laughs> that. Uh, this is something maybe you do sometimes, maybe you don't, but to fix a broken FaceTime connection, she just starts typing on the computer. Yeah. Uh, restart. <laughs> fix. Abracadabra. I don't know what you <laughs> typed down, but she's doing it. It fixed um, it. I, um, uh, what? The music, when they go out to reset the tree router... There it was very much someone's going to die. Somebody's getting yeah. shot. Someone's going to die. Yeah. They have guns, which they never have in Hallmark. No, never. And I'm like, they're going to have to use these guns. Yeah, I was waiting for a the gun music gun. is like a basically Mission Impossible. Well, yeah. <laughs> what they did was they were like, you know what? This is so perfect. We've just got to make it authentic. 
Give me some automatic weapons. I, yeah. <laughs> Everything else about this scene is so authentic. I cannot we be. We're just missing the guns. <laughs> That's I, the issue. I cannot be the only one that felt like someone was going to die in the snow, right? That oh, music yeah. was very much. Yes, I thought I was waiting for an explosion. Or someone. Something. Well, heck, he even says at one point, he, as they're leaving, he's like, did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> well, and, uh, and then nothing, they, nothing then happened. Cut back gonna, to the, the town. I am so baffled. Someone Sheesh. is good. Someone, someone's going to get a knife. Someone's got a knife. Um, he's talking to her about how her, his dad. Yeah, this is the best. How his dad was gone for uh, a lot uh, for the army. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, he says uh, he his dad missed countless birthdays. <laughs> And I would say it cannot be more than 25 because that's how old he is. You you can count there them. Are, you it can't is, say countless birthdays you can't, if you could literally go back and count easily, the number of birthdays. Easily. I'll be honest. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to go out on a limb and say probably on two hands. It's a family of elves. They've lived hundreds of years. <laughs> countless birthdays. Yeah. Um does the army issue camo bedspreads was a question that I, I mean, have. Come on. That camo bedspread was clutch. <laughs> I it was picture that. It was stitched and everything. Well, what's terrible is I looked at that and I said, man, he's got a great aesthetic for a <laughs> barrack. I mean, it is really crushing. Um, I, 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 guys, listen. I'm all about snow and cold and Christmas decorations, but um, you got to call an audible on that wedding locale. No it, kidding. It is freezing. No one's happy. No one. Everyone's just Omaha. trying to speak. Omaha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's one of those situations where you go outside and you go, maybe we're just moving in. Maybe we can push the veteran. Dad, can we push your dinner back? Well, uh, the veterans <laughs> banquet. What's <laughs> moving in there? Uh, wild is, is that like, it takes you out of the movie if you weren't taken out already because you're not even worried about the characters. The actors look like they're not going to make no it. No one seems happy. They look like they're just terrified how cold they are. Yeah. It's yeah, bad. They look very cold. And uh, last but not least, and I, I, I'm I, sure that, that someone has done this, but it, I, I saw it and I was like, that's, that's not right, is it? Isn't the groom normally on the, the right, right side, and the bride is on yes. the left? Yeah. It was swapped in this movie. I don't know movie. if that's. It was. It could I don't be a know if it's. Boy. What do you mean? It could be a camera boy. Well, just if they flip flop in the camera. So the camera they flip flop this one. Yeah, they flip. None of the other shots they flip flop. But in this one, they flip flop. They flip flop. Interesting. They that's got, an interesting they just, choice. It's because of the cold. It was so cold they had to flip flop it to get. I, I I'm convinced it's a camera. You got to invert it. Yeah, yeah, it was I a go, camera flip-flop boy. They were sitting yeah. there, they were looking at it, and they just said, uh-uh. Any other movie, I would Let's say Panda's not right here, but in this movie, it could it's be a, cam- a camera flip-flop boy. It could boy. be a camera boy. I don't know if that is across the board, every wedding is like that, but I've been to enough weddings and been in one of my own, um, one real one, how was uh, it? <laughs> that I would say uh, that's uh, how I've experienced it. That's but what wild. do I know? Uh, Dan? Yeah, uh, I mean, a couple you guys didn't get to. Um the first time she comes into town, she goes to her grandpa's shop and she goes, it's busy in here. And he says, yeah, the last minute Christmas rush. I do want to point out there are four people there, including her and her grandpa. <laughs> so there are two people shopping. <laughs> Dose. That is not a big Christmas rush. Um, well, there's I, only six people in town, Dan. I have a so. lot, and they don't know each other. <laughs> I have a lot of questions about his situation in the army the haircut is the least of those questions the fact that he can wear shaggy hair i'll let it slide because apparently and i want to make sure i understand this uh he gets to come home for christmas every year and when he comes home he's never sure when he's going back (laughs) what a great setup (laughs) So every year they call him and they go, we got to get you here. And he only knows two things for sure. One is I'm coming home for Christmas. Yep. And two, I don't know when or where I'm going next every Christmas. Yeah. That is not how army does things, right? Yep. 
They don't have a Christmas package where it's mm-hmm. like, we'll send you somewhere. You'll mm-hmm. go home for Christmas. And here's the thing is, that's one thing. But apparently, if the day you're supposed to fly home for Christmas, the weather is bad, you don't get to go home at all. Yep, it's an all or nothing. <laughs> they, it's, they don't postpone that thing No, a day. they do not. They're like, your day is the 19th. And if the weather's bad on the 19th. Wait till t- January. Two, year, two it's years. Over. No, no, full year. You got to wait another full year. That's what they got to do. It is, yeah. Can I be honest, though, going back to the Army bit and the Christmas, uh, yeah, everything revolves around Christmas. Yeah. Have we tried it? <laughs> it may not be a bad Have idea. Have we tried it? Just oh, to see what it package. does for the old morale. Yeah. Make a, the tours a year longer, but you get to come home every Christmas. That's exactly right. You don't know where you're going when you go back. That's right. Um, he, The second time he's home, and this is embarrassing for everyone involved. I rewound it. This is bad, guys. Movie makers, this is bad. I, I, look, I'm sorry that our podcast exists to call this out. The dad hands him an envelope and says, this came for you while you were gone. And on that envelope, in the yeah, left-hand corner, there's a U.S. Army stamp. Yep. And down at the bottom, it says Kevin McGarry's screen name. Yep. Luke. Luke Skywalker. And it says nothing else. Yeah. There's no address. There are two stamps. Right. There's an army stamp, and then there is no address. It was just a full sign, sealed, delivered, stepping out in faith situation. Well, but my understanding. We'll get it to them. They handed it to the. This is my what the hallmark. Uh, they hand it to the dad. He says this was handed to me. He no. He said I got the quote. This arrived for you while you were gone. So okay. It was in the mail somehow. They just went, oh, there's only one Luke in the army. We got this from here. Um, well, to be fair, it is army. It is army. And it Luke is, is army. such a non festive name. They know. Um, at one point while he's FaceTiming uh, Taylor, he says, uh, it's almost lights out here. Are they at a Christian summer camp yeah. that I'm not aware of? <laughs> either either you're in a bunk with an army camo bedspread, sir, and you're a grown man, or you're at a centrifuge. I don't, like, which is it? Like, and guys, no pranks tonight. We, we've it had it. First couple out, days, we get it. I'm going to put some tape on the door. <laughs> we'll know if you've been out. That's right. Monday, Tuesday, we okay. T- pranks we, are okay, but they're getting out of hand. We take this serious. No more. Army. Or else... Um, she at one point says I texted him, but it takes a while to go through. That's not a thing. <laughs> Texts are either sent or they're not. Um, I did not know that the Army snow camo was sponsored by L.L. Bean. What is happening? <laughs> what in the oversized wear is happening? Kevin McGarry looks like he's Mark Wahlberg in a John Singleton film. Yeah. He looks like he's in Four Brothers right now. Is it the, the fourth layer of Inception? Like, what is happening in that well, scene? Well, I think it was a, that, I, a, the best camo for snow is white. Yeah, so they gave him pants that were eight sizes too it's big. It's warm. It's warm. You got to be warm. You have to layer. You got to layer. layer. So they just did one big layer. One is big what they layer. Did. One big yeah. layer. They did one job. Saw live. I, I like. I just. I didn't make any sense at all. Um, I, I can't believe that this woman flew out to army. <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe it, guys. I just look. That, once again, we have a lot of fun here, and we love the troops. If every loved one at home decided that they needed to fly out to Army... Because they just couldn't handle it anymore. Because they couldn't handle it anymore, the entire edifice on, on which Army is built would collapse. It would buckle at the foundation... You can't just fly to army. You my, can't well, do my that. my initial thought was she's flying to army to have to get married. That was I my thought first they were going to get married, well. but no, no, she just she, she just flew into the she the, flew into army to lay on his camel bedspread and then take him promptly back home where he belonged. I just I could not get over this. Um, and I've got two Army's more. going to send you with a dishonorably discharged Yes, that's exactly what's going to happen. I got two more, and these are both big boys. I can't believe. In the scene where he's talking with his, uh, his commander in Army in Eastern Europe, yes. where they're clearly in some sort of mason lodge <laughs> somewhere. Lots, There's like man. a Boy Scout badges on the wall. <laughs> he salutes. He salutes his commander. His commander salutes back. They pan out. British flag. <laughs> so I just want to make sure we understand this straight. So paint the picture. Eastern Europe, U.S. Army base, British flag. 
No American flag anywhere. Don't need it. What is happening, guys? What's going on? Like, I'm not saying you got to make it perfect. Could we get the British flag out of the out of the? Scene? I just want to know why the British flag was there in the. If they shot this in Canada, it's Eastern Europe. <laughs> I just could not believe what I was seeing. We rewound it. I was like, I understand that it's Eastern Europe. No, listen, no one gets more. It gets it more than I do. You understand Eastern Europe. I, I want to know from a like, how did it? How did it happen? Like, someone must have put it up, right? Because yeah. they're in Canada. Well, Why and, would there be a British and, flag and, and, in the Mason Lodge in Canada? Presumably, took down the the Canadian Canadian flag, and they said we got a British one. So they remind them that we're in Eastern Maybe Europe. Maybe they grabbed the, the wrong flag the, by accident. Well, the, because the, they're both red, white, and blue, right? <laughs> uh, are we right? Uh, and so yes. he just yeah. they just they so it simple. Up there. I I, ju I just my only thought is they wanted us to remember that he's in Eastern Europe, and so they put a British flag up, which is Western Europe. Yes, <laughs> that's the best that they have. <laughs> Lastly. Um, they're doing a voiceover of what I believe are their vows. They don't say their vows because it's too freaking cold. But they're doing a voiceover. And in her voiceover, while they're staring at each other, trying not to get frostbite, she says, the first time I met you, I, I wondered how anyone could be so jolly while wearing that scratchy beard. He's Santa Claus. <laughs> That's the one rule. You have to be jolly, well, he scratchy, was, or no. He, he wasn't. He didn't have fat. He wasn't fat. When so. I first met you, I wondered how anyone could be so jolly while wearing that scratchy beard. That's the job, lady. That's the one thing you have to be with the scratchy That's beard true. on. It's jolly. You yeah. do have to be jolly. What are you doing? What Go you, back to old England. What he lacks in fat, he makes up for in jolly. Good gravy. I would say. People have said that about me for years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, it's time for what the hallmark is still what we could have been maybe having because of questions we still have. Panda, what are you still wondering about, buddy? Yeah, I'm still wondering about why he had to go back to the base. Like, okay, his friend's caught. Right. <laughs> There's a blizzard that's coming. Yeah. There's already air support that's up in the air oh, to I, rescue. Yeah, him. yeah. yeah I, I was, Why does he have to go? Because that's the, that's nope. the big There's one. There's other people who it's can the literally leave the mission. What the hallmark no, is, guys? You don't get the it. Entire once again, the entire foundation of army. The idea of our armed services is uniforms make us all the same. It's a brotherhood where if he falls, I keep going. Yep. But in this version of Army, this guy's in trouble. What do we do? Let's call his best buddy back home. I, I when, don't when, understand. When, when Army can't find, you you call best bud. That, that's the yeah. rule. That's the rule. When Army can't find, you call best bud. Because best buds are connected with the heart. That's true. If you were out Army there. Army always checks that, too. That's true. Hey, are you best buddies? All right, man, guys, we're going to pass around the forms once again. Update your best bud list. The buddy list. Uh, uh, your top eight on MySpace. <laughs> because they quit coming handy. Because once again, when Army can't find, we call best buds. Hey, Joey, <laughs> I'm moving you out of one spot. No! You didn't share your food with me. Oh, man. You want my camo bedspread? <laughs> You're back at number one. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I do want to know what type of publication Vox World is that allows uh, from anything from hard-hitting news to weird poems. Weird, weird Christmas poems, She's yeah. just writing willy-nilly. I want to know what type of publication this is because I cannot figure it out for the life of me what they actually do, but I, I'm here for it. And how they end up going with Vox World, taking a very well-known media conglomerate in Vox mm -hmm. and adding the world world to the end of it. It's a great idea. <laughs> so Yeah. I didn't realize we could just do that. Uh, I work for the New York Times. Times? <laughs> New York Times World. <laughs> the New, New York Times World. Uh, Dan? Yeah, my big one was them calling the best bud. Uh, my only other one is, as they mentioned, there's an upcoming animated Great Expectations coming out. Gross, uh, for, <laughs> first of all. Second of all, I think they did make an old one, but can I just submit that maybe choose for your script any other Dickens, like, you know, as in maybe not Tale of Two Cities, just, I don't know. Just creepy Miss Havisham in there. Great, you know, I don't know if eight-year-olds are really the the target audience there. I, 
I just, you know, I thought it was a weird bit. I, yeah. I was like, absolutely not under any circumstances. But that's all I got. Now, Hope in the Double Decker chat, who I believe is in service, the service, uh, says our missing person protocol does actually include reaching out to best butts. Wow. But reaching out to best buddies not to tell them to come help. He didn't tell them to come help. He just said we lost him. We said it was not an order. He makes it explicitly well, I know that, clear. But it was like, inferred. It was implied that we need somebody call best to come do you it. You call best buds. You call best buds. The That's best surreal. bud tracking system. TM. Um, <laughs> trademarked by Army. Uh, shout Army's out to, so great. Shout out to Army. Uh, guys, let's. We did it. Uh, uh, it's time yeah. for the double dagger of the week. We're paying us oh, a deep dive. We can't leave before we make sure we do mention the other one, the homer that I forgot because oh. I'm on my list of wait what's, which is. Uh, the song specifically says her list includes no more wars. They say it three times in here. Yeah. And clearly Kevin McGarry is a part of a war that is continually still going on. Yeah. So we just needed well, to bring that up. But I also think it's a political statement, which is why this movie transcends. Right? <laughs> That's right. It transcends. Uh, it brings no, us together. No fighting. The double deck. <laughs> All right. Okay. War. Like John. What is it good for? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. else. Our double decker of the week is Langley Clements. Yep. Langley Clements or Clements? Oh, it's you Langley take it from Clements. There. Yeah. No, Langley. Let me tell you, Langley, best invention I've ever heard. Wow. Uh, best one I, you've no, ever, I mean, heard. ever heard. And I've got to explain. I've got to explain what happened. Langley uh, was out one day and uh, really enjoys, uh, you know, carving with the old knife, making little like, uh, like whittles. You know, yeah, a little bit of whittling and stuff like a that. A little bit of whittling. A little bit of uh, <laughs> whittling. A whittling. Uh, a whittling. Uh, whittling. Well, as as they were out there whittling, somebody came up and uh, said, "You know what? This is such a beautiful day out." And, and Langley said, I, I wish I could write a poem about didn't have a pen. Uh, but as they were searching for a pen, it was a hot day, got sunburned. And this is what gave Langley the idea. She created a pen that has some aloe in it and also a little, a little pocket knife in there, all combined into one. What's it called, Panda? Say allo to my whittle pen. <laughs> yeah, you went a long way for that one. Holy cow. <laughs> Good gosh. That's you, it. That's it, man. You, you, you went a long way for that one. Woo! And it was worth it. Say That's hello why we do the program. To my whittle pin. I just, man, I knew that whittle was going to be a little thing, but you took it to the next yep, level. You're welcome. I mean, man, boy. Well. Thus, nice thing else playing. to add there. We will be back tomorrow with the episode that we recorded at Rama Drama. Ooh. Little Neil Bledsoe, little Ashley Williams, little Kristen, little Booth. Kristen Booth, no Tyler Hedge. So it's going to be a lot of fun for everybody. Uh, can't wait for it. And then uh, we'll be back, the three of us, on Thursday with mm, One Calls I the Heart. It. Uh, on Friday with some more Christmas. Until then, maybe the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. That Sounds Fun podcast is produced by Tracy Noah's name. It's recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. For more information, on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio. Feel free to listen. Feel free to turn it off, whatever you want to. But either way, thanks so much for your support.